بوت اوف اس ار نوت ريدي اوكي نو بروبلم ان شاء الله شفنا يعني الشيخ جنابي was wanted to make sure that this is a perfumed يعني talk so i said for the sake of the video please wear the bsat of salam and i said say sayyidina muhammad al ali wa sahbi ajma'in and alhamdulillah that allah have enabled us to be living this beautiful uh, environment and live this beautiful uh, days and nights of the blessed month of ramadan as ibn taymiyyah indicated that there is a jannah in the dunya who does not enter it will not be entering the jannah of the akhirah and walillah alhamd we can feel it yani the beautiful recitation of the qaris may allah bless them and give them barak of the quran yani uh, penetrates the heart may allah bless uh, sheikh yusuf for his you know amazing from the heart recitation that reached the heart and may allah azza bless brother sheikh ahmed for his you know uh, yani heart you know um, teasing you know a dua that makes you engaged with him and feel that you're yani you're fully engaged with 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 the words of his uh, of his dua allahumma amin ya rabbi and that's exactly what ibn taymiyyah was referring to that there is a jannah that if you were able to enter it in this dunya then you will be inshallah able to enter the jannah of the akhirah and alhamdulillah that jannah is not only in a spiritual you know context of or perspective it's also in the context of biryani Allah, alhamd, yani, we were able to enjoy the biryani through the suhoor which will be a taste of what the biryani of the jannah will be inshallah like exactly yani. so alhamdulillah <laughs> this is part of the jannah attraction and as allah said in the quran the example of the jannah that the the muttaqun were promised is similar to what you see from the attractions of the dunya the dunya so allah is trying to you know make it simple for us to be able to understand what's the jannah and what is it like and why it's important yani, to be mindful about the jannah why do we need to specifically talk about the jannah yani, uh, the uh, shaykh may allah bless, 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 bless him mashallah was reciting yani, uh, she said the wife, um, um, uh, Mrat Fir'aun, I'm sorry. The wife of Fir'aun said, Ya Allah, supplicate to Allah, Ibli, Ibni li baytan andaka fil jannah. Build for me a, a, a house uh, in, in, you know, with you in al jannah. Why she said that? She said that while she was crucified and being tormented and being tortured. And she was in the midst of the, you know, the difficulties and, and the tests of the dunya. And she supplicated to Allah Azza wa Jal to give her al-Jannah. So she was focused. She was. She knew what she wants to get from this dunya. You know, back home we have a system of high school different than high school system here. Uh, uh, you know, here it's you know easy going, mashallah, everything is smooth. But back home, in the last year of your high school, you will be losing sleep. You will be losing you know uh, attractions of life. You will be a different human being. Well, not a different, you know, thing, not a being maybe, uh, by the times of your exams. And if you ask why, you know, these, you know, especially the nerds, why are you, you know, doing this? They said, I, I want to make sure that I excel. They interviewed one of the, the top, you know, in high schoolers. And they said, how did you make it? He said, this moment of being interviewed and being recognized as you know the top of the whole country have always stayed with me as a motive i meet sometimes mashallah university students and they tell me we keep straight a's throughout university to be able to make it to mid the school and and you know mid the school is is a goal for them that they need to make sure that they're able to achieve and that goal for them is what keep what keeps them what keeps them you know uh, focus. And Jannah is what should be making the Muslim, the Mu'min, the believer 
focus for it uh, in you know for in, in, in throughout the difficulties and challenges you know Allah Azza told us in the Quran that yeah life is uh, we created man in hardship and we know that you'll be tested with different forms of tests do you think you will be let go to Al Jannah without being tested like those who have came from before you? So, knowing that you're being tested, and through in the midst of the difficulties and challenges and the ta'at and ibad, you know, their, their sides would be uh, abandoning the, the comfortable mattresses, losing sleep. Uh, in the comfortable, you know, and uh, in, in, in the comfort of sleeping at night. Why would they do this? No eye would, would know what Allah has prepared for it as a result of what they have done in this dunya. So, it is indeed something that you need to stay focused with, to, 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 you know, uh, to, to, to keep in front of your own eyes. Allah said that the Jannah has been prepared to those who have awab al hafil What's awab? Constant repenting to Allah Azza wa What's hafil? Not hafil, hafil. Exaggerated form of hifl, meaning to say protector. They have always kept themselves, you know, uh, uh, in, on, you know guarded and protected from uh, uh, slipping into the ma'asi. Yeah, especially for the young brothers and the sisters. May Allah bless them and protect them. And even for the adults. You know, when you walk outside, you go to school or university or you even go to work or you walk in the street, to, you're, you're surrounded with shahawat you know, attractions that are difficult for you to protect yourself from falling into the haram. The, you know, the, this, the environment we're living in, this, this culture of I, I, I want to be on the top, I want to get the most, I want to enjoy everything in my life. This culture pushes people to, to be, you know, vicious, to be, you know, to be greedy, and to think only of how they're able to get and, and not to be conscious or cautious of not hurting or transgressing against others. So for the believer, it's completely different. And look into how Allah Azza Jal said in Surah Qaf after talking about death, you know, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلَكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدُ وَرُفِقَ بِالصُّورِ ذَلَكَ يَوْمُ الْوَعِيدُ وَجَاءَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسِ At the end, when Allah Azza Jal started talking about, see, talk about death and dying, that's fine. Talk about the hellfire, but at, at Allah Azza Jal says, وَأُزْلِفَتِ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدٌ Uzlifat means brought close to. Yani imagine, inshallah, on the day of concourse, we will be after you know going uh, through the, the you know the last trial of the hisab and you know the accountability and all the details, and then uzlifat al jannah. You know, you look in the horizon, you see the jannah. You know, think of it as when you are planning to go uh, for a, a beautiful trip, whether it's like a umrah trip or you know you haven't seen your family for quite so long, you know, long time, or when you know. Uh, you are, you know, uh, looking forward to get married and the, the, the night is coming close and, you uh, know, the beautiful the details. Then, you know, at that point, you know, as, as you see things are coming close, your anxiety becomes so high. Your, your feelings will be overwhelmed. The same is to be said uh, of how, you know, the, the people of Al-Jannah and the day of conquerors will be feeling. Their anxiety will be so high. Their feelings are overwhelmed. They're, they can see it. They can you know, visualize it. Not too far. And then, You know, the, the people of Al-Jannah will be escorted to Al-Jannah in a group. As we mentioned in Surah Al-Zumar at the conclusion of the Surah, how when they reach the Jannah, will be greeted. طُبْتُمْ فَدْخُلُوهَا خَالِدِينَ you know, greeting to you, enter in it in peace, in tranquility. And, you know, uh, and, and then we'll, they will be saying, Alhamdulillah, praise be to the might of Allah, Sadaqana wa'da, who fulfilled his promise to us, jannah, and let us enter al-jannah. And then, you know, as the malaika will be, afterwards, 
when we settle in our palaces and we'll be enjoying the attractions of Al-Jannah, Malaika will be coming to us from different, you know, uh, avenues. Salamun alaykum bima sabartum. A greeting for you, a glad tidings to you as a result of what you have been patient on in this dunya. It is worth it. It is worth it to delay the gratification of this dunya for the, the, the massive, for the you know, unbelievable uh, attractions of the Akhirah. And then once we make it to Al-Jannah, there we will be we will be recalling the, the dunya. Uh, you know, once you make it safely to Al Jannah, you know, just stepping out of the conquest, you know, trial and the, the, the accountability and all the details and passing through all the, you know, the challenges and the, the, the trials and, you know, turbulence and all, oh, everything. You make it to Al-Jannah. Visualize it. Imagine yourself. Oh, Alhamdulillah. I made it. Finally I made it. Khalas. My two feet are in Al-Jannah. Just like what Abu Bakr used to say. Yani, uh, once my two feet are in Al-Jannah, Khalas. Alhamdulillah. Then at that point, you will be, yani, you, you recognize that Alhamdulillah, you made it safely. You will be re recalling. You will be, you know, you will be remembering what happened in this dunya. You know, إِنِّي كَانَ لِقَرِينَ I used to have a friend, a, a buddy, Karin, like a close friend, a BBF, or is it BFF? <laughs> Which one of them? I always make mistake. Yeah. BFF, I think, right? I used to have a BFF. You know, yeah. Do you believe? Really, they're going to be, you know, going, be resurrected once again after they compose? By the way, secularism right now, or atheism, is, is the trend. It, to, to be cool nowadays is to be atheist, right? I was like, you know, oh, like I don't believe in this stuff. Come on, man. Uh, what's the, it's the, you know, dying and death, after death, and this is this is like the trend now. This is this is this is foolish. You know, if you we, we, when we die and decompose and become, you know, dust, are we going to be restricted once again? Let's check him out. Let's see where he is. And when they look for him. They feed him in the deepest, you know, valley, valleys of the hellfire. And then it will be, يعني, subhanallah, imagine yourself in that position. You were that close to slip into the, into the, you know, to the hellfire with, with these, you know, uh, bad companions or, or those, you know, who have always created the doubts in your minds and in your hearts about the akhirah and the jannah and the qa'illah and the and all the details. And then they will be saying, Alhamdulillah, I'm saved. Wallahi, this is the rahmah of Allah Azza wa Wallahi, it is the gathering that you are in right now that have made it possible. This is especially for the young brothers and sisters. Get to know the masajid, get to know the companions of the masjid. Because those are the ones who will be, you know, uh, you know will be your, 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 be your best friend forever in this dunya and as well as in the akhirah. You will be, you will be, you know, because of them and their dua to you and their support to you and their encouragement is what will make you, you know, safely make it to Al-Jannah, insha'Allah. أَثَمَا نَحْنُ بَيْتِينَ Are we ever going to die? خلاص, is it? No more death. Because death will be brought in a shape of a lamb in the year after and will be between the Jannah and the Nar and, and will be called, this is death and will be slaughtered, this is it, khulud. For living forever, whether in the hellfire or in the Billah or in Al Jannah. And then the people of Al Jannah, when they sit in Al Jannah and they, you know, they see the attractions of the Jannah, the rivers, the fruits, and so on, will be calling the people of the hellfire. Inna wajadana ma wahadana rabbuna haqqa. Fahal wajadtu ma wahadana rabbukum haqqa. We found what Allah Azza wa have promised us, truth, haq, fact. Did you find what Allah Azza wa promised you, haq? Ya Allah, imagine what it would be like for the people of the hellfire when they realize that, yes, we heard the ayat of Allah Azza wa Yes, we saw the Muslims. Yes, we were, you know, you know uh, they were talking about Jannah and Nar and death and dying and Allah Azza wa and the hereafter. But we just made fun of them. We, we used to mock them. 
we, we, we never, you know, believed them. Now, in that particular moment, you will be happy. You will be excited. You will be saying, Alhamdulillah, praise be to the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. And even the people of the hellfire will say, Oh, buddy, come on, we used to hang around together in this dunya. Give us some of this water, the fresh running water, the, you know, the sweet, uh, you know, the, the attractions, the food, the, the fruits. Sorry, buddy. It's forbidden on you. Khalas, it's too late. It's not possible. It's not possible. And then Allah Azza from His gracious Nah Rahmah have allowed us to visit Al Jannah. Not physically, but spiritually. In, 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 re in, 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 you know, in living the ayat of the Quran. وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ ذَوَاتَا أَثْنَانِ To those who have, you know, feared their Lord, Jannatan, two gardens. ذَوَاتَا أَثْنَانِ You know, uh, Afnan is the height, you know, the high place. Normally, you know, if you're blessed to have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it, a cottage or, you know, uh, a house with a farm in a, in a high place, it's, you know, uh, it has more value because it's, you know, uh, more, you know, uh, pleasant and, and more attractive. And وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ فَبِأَيَّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ ذَوَاتَا أَفْنَانِ فَبِأَيَّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ فِيهِمَا مِنْ كُلِّ فَاكِهَةٍ زَوْجَانِ Allah Azza provides in these jannat, you know, from every type of fruit, two, two kinds. وَأُتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِهًا You know, in the jannah, you will be wishing for, you know, uh, uh, strawberries. The strawberries you eat it the first time, and then you wish for it the second time. The second time will be completely different than the first one time. The the apples you enjoy in Al Jannah will be completely different than what you used to or or you know enjoyed in this dunya. This dunya is you know is disposable. Think of it this way: if you go to fancy restaurants, you're served you know your your food in China. Uh, if you go to you know uh, um, you know the, if you come to the masjid and you're served your, your biryani, you're served in a in a paper plate or a foam plate, and you know you you know that <laughs> yeah, and especially those paper plates. Sometimes you need to hold it with both hands, otherwise it will fall off from your hand. Now things are completely different in Al Jannah. Things things are are you know uh, you know yes, it is something similar to what you are used to in this dunya, but it's completely completely different because it's prepared to you by Allah Azza wa Almighty. Ya Allah. Imagine this, you know, scene. You will be leaning on the couches of Jannah. Unlike right now, when is the Shaykh going to finish the talk because my back is aching, you know, I can't, uh, you know, s sit for in this, for the, it's uncomfortable. No, it's completely different in Jannah. You will be leaning on couches, you know, بَقَائِنُهَا The filling of these, you know, the, the couches you're leaning on, or the, you know, the, co the, the mattresses, the filling is from Istabrak. What's Istabrak? One of the most, the one of the finest, finest silks that in this dunya, if we were to be able to obtain, we will be showing off with. So the filling of the couch uh, will be from the fine, the most fine silk. So you can imagine what the couch itself would look like, or what the cover of the couch would look like. Yani Allah is <coughs> trying to bring to our you know, imagination what's it like, what's the Jannah look like. So if this is the couch of the Jannah, yani what's the Jannah is like? متكئين فيها متكئين على على فرش بطائنها من استبرق من استبرق وجن الجنتين دان يا الله. And the reason why I chose to talk about the description of Jannah from Surah Al-Rahman because this is a beautiful surah that many of us memorize, many of us reside, re visit and read a lot. But I want you from now on when you read it, I want you to to read it, يعني feeling you are in Jannah, especially when you do it in Qiyam al by yourself. وَجَنَ الْجَنَّتَيْنِ دَانِ 
and the fruits of Al Jannah will be within the reach of your arm. Imagine you're leaning on the couch of Al Jannah, you know, you know, sitting with your buddies, your friends, because Allah Surah and Mutaqabilin, the same friends you used to, you know, you hang around with and be with in, in you know in the in the dunya. You know, and, and you know, teasing each other. You know, biryani, uh, Abu uh, Abu Nur. You know, is not too happy and content with with the food. Uh, Brother Muhammad. You know, telling him why you are always complaining, and uh, <laughs> they will be in the jannah in co completely different mood. They will be leaning on the couches and will be you know enjoying, and they don't even have to to stand and and wait for them and go and get things. The fruits of the jannah will be within the reach of your arm. You know, you will be, yeah, the, the fruit of Jannah will be coming down to you and you will be able to grab it fresh. And again, remember what we said. Yes, indeed, the fruits of Al Jannah are in name, you know, presented to us from what we have in this dunya. But what is, you know, in the Jannah is completely different. The taste, you know, the sweetness, all the details are completely different. And the fruits of these two gardens, the two Jannahs that, the, the, you know, the believers will be having, are within the reach of the arm. And by the way, um, يعني, uh, we're doing this to those who are staying until uh, Shuruq, inshallah. So if you feel that you need to leave, Jannah, we could be leaving. You can leave, alhamdulillah, you're not trapped here. The doors are open, they're not locked. This is not fundraising. In fundraising, we lock the doors and say, okay, خلاص, you're trapped, no way out. No, you are here alone. If you need to go, alhamdulillah, but we're able to give the chance for people, inshallah, it's Sunday. To inshallah to enjoy their time until the shuruq, so we're able to pray the turuq and go, you know, hit the sacks and sleep. In these gardens, qasirat al tarf. What's qasirat al tarf? The one who do not look, you know, uh, ex ex extend their gaze, look, you know, go, go, you know, uh, look beyond. Or, or, or do not, you know, uh, look at uh, other things. You know, they are يَقْصُرْنَ They do not look beyond. And they're only looking at you as their, you know, uh, as their mate. And here, يعني, we need to also spend يعني, a little bit to, to explain a, an important concept. Many times because of the influence of the culture we're living in, uh, people say, oh, you know, uh, you know, uh, the Jannah is only for the men and there is nothing for the women. No, that's not true. From the Haya of the Quran, that Allah Azzawajal speaks about the description of al hur al -Iyim, to give an idea to our sisters and our daughters, what's it going to be like for them? If the descriptions of the maids of the Jannah is so beautiful, is so outstanding, how is going to be the description of the sisters is beyond the imagination. Now, in this dunya, you know, servants or maids would not be looking as, you know, the, the, the masters or, or, you know, the, the princess. So, Allah Azza is trying to bring to our attention, to the attention of the sisters and the daughters, what's it like to be in Al-Jannah? If the maids of Al-Jannah are described in this way, then you are above the description of these maids because they are going to be your servants. Qasirat al those qasirat al-tarf who only look at you would not be extending their you know, sight to others uh, in, in, uh, around them. But you will be their main attraction. You will be you know, the, the center of their attention. You, they will be making sure to, to make you happy. And this is what qasirat al-tarf they are you know, solely for you. No one else has been able to enjoy their company. They are so precious. They are so beautiful. They are like the pearls and, and the diamonds. Isn't the rewards of Ihsan? in this dunya and your ibadah and ta'ad would be not but the ihsan of Allah Azza wa to you in his reward in al-Jannah. So the rewards of al-Jannah are the ihsan of Allah Azza wa Jal. And as a matter of the fact, when Allah Azza wa in al-Jannah, when we are in al-Jannah, inshaAllah, and we will be, you know, uh, 
enjoying the attractions of Al Jannah and we feel Alhamdulillah we made it. We're now leaning on the couches, we're you know enjoying the company of the Hurul Ain and all the details, then a voice will be will be calling. Oh people of Al Jannah, you have a meeting. A meeting? Yes. What for? Everybody will be alarmed. You will be meeting Allah Azza wa Jal. Oh, Allah Azza wa Jal? For what? And the Malaika will be saying to you, Allah will be honoring you. Oh, honoring us more than what we are in right now? We were saved from the hellfire. We were saved from, you know, the, the Salat. We made it to save it to Al Jannah. Look at us right now, leaning on the couches. Eating the fruits of Al Jannah, enjoying the company of our mates and and Al Hulain and the, you know our spouses, because whom as wajum fi dilan al araik mutakiyun. It's not only the Hulain, that it's the spouses. They will be told Allah Azza wants to meet with you, and they will be saying, Ya Rabbi, yani, what else we are asking for? After we say, Oh people of Al Jannah, what do you need more? Ya Rabbi, we we got everything. This is it. There's something more. وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيد As Allah mentioned in the Surah Qaf, the same thing. وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيد What's the مَزِيد? More than the attractions of Al-Jannah is seeing Allah Azza wa Jal in Al-Jannah. This is the ultimate pleasure. So, وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيد Everything is okay, Shaykhuna? Are we good? No, we need to record, but we have some problems. Continue. 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 Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure that we're okay, alhamdulillah. Continue at, at home now. <laughs> <laughs> I got the sign. Yeah. I'm trying to record it, but he has some problem. Okay, but we got this. Yes. Don't worry, so we can use it. So the ultimate pleasure will be, inshallah, when we will be meeting the, will be able to see the uh, Allah Azza wa the Mighty. And you know, metaphorically, you know, think of it this way. Let's say you know, uh, as we had in the past, you know, our uh, prime minister will be coming once in a while to the masjid, surprising people. People will, be, oh, you know what? Last night I, you know, I got to see this dude. You know, uh, he's not allowed anymore to our masjid. We call him dude. You know, <laughs> people were like, oh, I, you know, I got a selfie with him. Do you see? You know, imagine. You know, I, I can't describe my feeling of joy, like you know, sitting with his company. This is what you would be feeling like when you meet the people of this dunya, VPs of the dunya. Allah Azza wa Mighty, the Qa'a is completely out of this world, completely different. This is the ultimate joy as Allah says, وَلَدَيْنَا مَزِيدٍ Yes, it's worth it. Being muhsan in your Qa'at and ibadat will be making you entitled for the Ihsan of Allah Azza wa in Al-Jannah. هَلْ جَزَاءُ الْإِحْسَانِ إِلَّا الْإِحْسَانِ فَبِأَيَّ أَلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ what in ayat of Allah are disputing or denying? وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَانِ And below and lower in a status with the, the, with the description that we provided for the two gardens or two jannah or two jannah. Or it could be that Allah will you know, be giving us two jannahs and also another two jannahs lower than them. Or it's going to be for a different status of other people. وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَانِ فَبِأَيَّ أَلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّمَا مُدْهَامَتَانِ You know, you know, in, in the winter, when you go outside to the parks and the, and the forest, you will be able to see the branches. But in the, in the summer, when, when, when it becomes warm, the greenish of the, you know, the greenery of the, of the, the trees will be so amazing. And the, the, you know, the, the, the branches will be connected with each other and, you know, the, the, the green of the leaves will be, will be you know, you know uh, will be covering, you know, the, everything. And, and this is what the description of the Jannah. The Jannah trees are mudhamatan. You will, yani the, the, you know, the, the leaves and the, the branches are interconnected with each other and providing for you the shade. Now, you know, this is for us maybe something we're used to, but when you're living in uh, Saudi Arabia, for instance, or in the desert, or you know, in the countries where uh, greeneries and, and water is not available in abundance, things will be completely different. You know, seeing the green, seeing the, you know, the, the, uh, the, the trees is something pl pleasing to the eyes. Even right now in the summer, one of the most beautiful, you know, things is to go outside and enjoy the, the beautiful scene of, you know, the, 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 the trees and the branches and, you know, the, the colors of the trees. Mm -hmm. 
فِيهِنَا عَيْنَانِ نَضَّاخَتَانِ In these two gardens, there are gushing, you know, uh, springs. The, the first one, عَيْنَانِ تَجْرِيَانِ Running, you know, springs. Here, uh, gushing springs to provide unlimited, you know, uh, sources or, 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 or provide an unlimited, you know, supply of fresh water that, that is, you know, so sweet and that, you know, is, you know, uh, fresh and, and, and you know satisfying to, to your you know to your thirst and to to be able to enjoy in these you know trees the gardens will be enjoying the you know the staying in have fakiha you know fruits and nakhl and you know date trees and Roman, uh, pomegranate. Uh, pom I always have difficulty to pronounce it. Pomegranate? Pomegranate. 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 Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, pomegranates. فيهما فاكهة ونخل ورمان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان فيهن خيرات حسان يا الله. And I want the sisters and the daughters to pay attention to this. فيهن in these gardens, in these palaces. Khayrat. Allah did not say spouses, did not say hurin, but khayrat. What's khayrat? From khayr. What's khayr? Good. So the description, Allah has given us the description of these, you know, mates that we will be having in Al-Jannah. You know, their, their, their description is the khayr, as if the khayr is presented into them. Khayrat. But not only khayrat, not only they are the, the source of khayr, they are the, the, the ultimate khayr, but they are also hisan, beautiful. You know, one of the things about you know sisters and and you know and, and daughters and, and young you know ladies, they always want to be you know look a period. They want to look, look look beautiful, and and this is you know what what uh, you know keeps them all the time you know uh, uh, thinking uh, how could they look, look more and and you know and all the details. Now this is will be giving to you as as by default. You will be with the most beautiful manners. And with the most and ultimate beautiful image, khayratun hisan. See this, you know, uh, you know, uh, this idea that have come, uh, you know, to attack Islam that Islam doesn't care much about women and you know it's a masculine, you know, deen and all. No, no, this is not true. Allah Azza wa Jal, you know, honored both sides and mu'minuna wal mu'minat, believers both male and female, and Allah Azza wa Jal even. From you know the beautiful the beauty of the Quran is يعني, the hayah of the Quran does not go into explicit you know details but gives us an idea and explain to us what is it like for both in you know for the man and for the woman in the Jannah. فيهن خيرات حسان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان حور gorgeous eyes beautiful eyes حور مقصورات في الخيام you know they are you know. Uh, uh, staying stationary in their in their palaces, they they want to be for you and they want you to be for them. مقصورات في الخيام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان لم يطمثهن لم يطمثهن إنس قبلهم ولا جان. They have never been in the company of any other you know person beside you or before you. فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان متكئين على رفرف خضر Leaning on the couches of, uh, you know, rough, rough, khudr. You know, the, 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 the out, outside materials is, is green in color, uh, fancy in the materials, and, and the, you know, the uh, pillows or the cushions that you will be leaning on are also from the most, you know, attractive and most beautiful, you know, uh, materials to make your sitting and, 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 you know, leaning more enjoyable and more comfortable. Because, ya yeah, subhanAllah, you're, as Shahrawi rahmatullah says that when you are standing, you are, your muscles are, are strained. And when you're sitting, your back sometimes gets, you know, uh, uh, you know sore. But when you are leaning, you know, in, in, in 45 degrees, it's more comfortable and much comfortable. So imagine you are in the most comfortable position on the most comfortable couches with the most expensive materials. As we said, the filling of these couches is the most the expensive silk available for us in this dunya. 
Are you denying any of Allah of Ayat of Allah Azza Jal? Tabarak Aslu Rabbika Dil Jalali Wal Ikram. Glory be to the name of your Lord, the one who is Dul Jalal Wal Ikram. May Allah Azza Jal make us from those who will not only be living the Jannah of the dunya, who will not be only visiting Al Jannah in their Qiyam Al Layl, because this is the most beautiful time for you to be able to visit Al Jannah, by the way. If you are by yourself, you know, reflecting, contemplating, and pondering, and, and reciting the ayat of Al-Jannah, and you feel it, and maybe, Allahu A'lam, you might be, you know, actually visiting your Jannah in your, in Ru'ya, in, in, in your dreams, as, you know, we heard sometimes once in a while from people who are, you know, seeing Ru'ya in their, in their you know, in, in their sleeves, as if they were actually in Al-Jannah, uh, as a result of their interaction with ayat of the Quran, and may Allah Azza Jal, as He have gathered us in this house of His, in in this blessed month of Ramadan, to unite us, inshallah, in the company of His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in the Firdaus al-Ala min al-Jannah. To conclude, inshallah, al-Jannah has eight gates. There are different gates: the gate of the Salah, the gate of the Siyam, al-Rayyan, as we all know. And we, the, the, the gate of Sadaqah, the gate of, you know, uh, Salah, different other gates. And everybody will be called from one of these gates. So, you know, when you go to mid-school, after you finish, you know, four years of uh, bachelor degree with 4.0, or, you know, or, or is outstanding, you know, in a, uh, what do you call it, in a grade, you will go to another, you know, four years of medicine. And then after that, you go for residency. Right? So if a, a person graduates from mid school, they say, okay, what's the big deal? You know, you're not used to it. You, you'll not be able to get a job. You need to have a specialty. So have a specialty. Be, be a person who is focused on one area of ibadah. You know, generally speaking, you are abid, you are muttaqi, you are moving all the details. But have something specific between you and know, Allah Be from the mutasaddiqeen, for instance. Yani let your money in this dunya be something that will make you feel that inshallah Allah Azza will have rahmah on you as a result of your salafah. Or maybe let it be siyam. Man khutima lahu bi siyam dakhal jannah, right? Whoever, you know, life is ended with siyam will be entering in jannah. Or be from those who love salah. Salah is their ruh, their, you know, everything in their life. And by the way, this is an important thing, inshallah. Thing I normally bring it to the attention of people at the beginning of Ramadan, not the end of Ramadan, but still it's applicable to work on. You know, there's a hadith, a weak hadith, they say most of the travel agencies would always put it on their, you know, Umrah, to, umrah trips. Praying 40 salah in the Masjid al Nabawi will make you get the two certificates, Bara'atu min al Nar, Bara'atu min al I found this hadith only with the travel agencies <laughs> for Umrah business. <laughs> the authentic hadith is. Whoever catches takbirat al-ihram, man adraka takbirat al-ihram, behind the imam for 40 days, will be granted two certificates. The first certificate, bara'atun min al-nar wa bara'atun min al-nifaq. You know, free, uh, salvation from the hellfire, and a guarantee, inshallah, you will be from those who are not, have, do not have the traits of hypocrisy. So it is worth it to be from the musallin, who are prompt and constant in their salah, Make it, you know, for the five daily salawat in the masjid behind the imam. You know, before the, the imam say, Allahu Akbar, you're standing behind him. And you, you, you do it for 40 days and becomes a habit to you and becomes, you know, a lifestyle. Alhamdulillah, you will be called from the, the gates of a salah. And what's even, you know, more beautiful is to be in the company of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, who will be called from the eight gates of al-Jannah. Because the Prophet ﷺ, when he mentioned this hadith, Abu Bakr said, Ya Rasulullah, would someone be called from all the gates of Al Jannah? He said, Yes. And Arju and Tukuna minhum. And I pray that Allah to Allah that you would be from them. So look into what Abu Bakr used to do in his life. Look into the actions of Abu Bakr in his life and, and adopt his personality and his manners and akhlaq and ibadat to be entitled, inshallah. To in his company to enter Jannah, Allahumma Ameen. With this, we say, inshallah, 
يعني مي الله عز وجل اكسب فروم اس اند مي الله عز وجل يونايت اس ان شاء الله ان فردوس العالم الجنه في النهر اكيد شيء قدير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته